when they made their move, it initially didn't start as panic, but it kind of grew to that. So some of that kind of, okay, if they're going to keep, if they're going to hold this, I have to be ready to sprint against the people I'm with just to make the podium. And so that kind of thought was kind of creeping into my head, but the first thought was still, we got to catch him. We got to catch him. Our coach, Ryan Knapp was, you know, he wrote something about, you know, you know, watch an exchange or like be ready for an exchange. I remember that it was not out of the realm of possibility because all the coaches on their whiteboards were, you know, had different things about like something is shaken down, whether he is going to burn out or they're going to exchange. Um, I had no idea how they knew that. So I assumed something like this had happened. If I'm being completely honest, I didn't think that we would, the pack would catch them that, that quickly. There's a pretty, not like standard rule, but it's kind of the assumption in uh, little five sprinting that the first person to turn three typically most of the time wins the race. I spent so much effort trying to drive into uh, turn three that I was already a little burnt out coming around, coming around the turn. What I'm doing there is I'm trying to see the shadows on the ground um, which is uh, something I learned in high school uh, racing track was to see instead of completely looking back, um, just trying to gauge relation based on how close shadows are. And uh, I was able to uh, see Noble's head kind of merge with my body. And so that's where I kind of had like a, oh crap moment. I think it's one of the more exciting finishes in the past few years, probably up there with maybe like 20, 2015 and 2016, I think we're all pretty, um, pretty exciting like that in the, those big bunch sprints.